Uh, how do you feel about the pressure that comes from the trans lobby? I spoke a little bit earlier on about even if maybe it's infiltrating our legal community, certainly infiltrating our education system, about the way now that if you say women are women, then you can get cancelled and you can be kind of sacrificed at the altar of wokedom. Whereas uh, I'm not sure that's, that should be the case. And it does mean that then when we have discussions like this, there's always seems to be an element of controversy about it. And actually that means that a lot of negatives can, can slip through the net. How do you feel about the pressure that's coming from the trans lobby? Um, absolutely. I mean, I lost my job for um, talking about this on social media and really saying the kinds of things that the Equality and Human Rights Commission have now put in their guidance, which were judged by some people at my work to be um, so contentious that I should lose my job and have been fighting a legal battle for the past three years to show that that's discrimination. Um, and that's happening all over the place, you know, where people are being called transphobes um, and being bullied and harassed at work. It's because they're saying the kinds of things that the EHRC is saying, which is that women and girls need to be able yeah. to have single and did that, services and, did that, and sports. And did that damage your mental health at the time? Um, it damaged my um, well-being. Your personal well-being. Um, your personal well-being. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because this is absolutely. it. Because, because this is the very thing that they, they go, well, well, hang on a minute. I must be allowed to do what I, what I want to do because I'm potentially being bullied and harassed and it's damaging my well-being. And then when... But, but then they're perfectly happy to do all of those things to you, aren't they? Uh, exactly. And, um, you know, the situation we should have is a tolerant society where people can believe different things, people can wear what they want, call themselves what they want, but where sex matters, such as in sport, such as in single sex services, we have clarity. That's the only way that you can then um, treat everyone with respect because people then know where they're allowed to go and where they're not.